Okay, folks, um, this is a very, very quick um, lesson on a technique called gridding up. And if you're ever in a situation where you want to um, uh, enlarge a, a photograph or um, uh, reduce the size of something even, uh, this is a technique that's uh, really easy to use. It's been something that's been around since uh, the, probably the Middle Ages, if not earlier. Um, and certainly during the Renaissance it was used a lot. Um, quite often if they had a, a drawing that they'd uh, developed for a fresco, which is a painting that would have been done on wet plaster, um, what they would do is they would create um, a drawing, then grid it up, and then enlarge it onto a larger grid. Um, and then what they would do is transfer the drawing on um, square by square, which I'm going to show you how to do in a moment. And then they would actually prick, uh, little pin pricks, all the way around the drawing. Um, on the large drawing that they're going to place on the wall and then they would get a little thing called a ponce which was full of chalk or charcoal dust and they would just lightly tap it on the drawing when it was pinned to the wall and what they would do is basically when they peel the large cartoon off the wall you would have these little dots, it was almost like a game of join the dots and uh, that's a way that they were able to transfer the, um, the drawing onto the wall and of course if they're working on wet plaster they could only work section by section so they would transfer um, the, the drawing of the, or the part of the drawing that they were working on onto the wall, um, do, the, do the fresco onto the damp plaster because it needs to be done onto damp plaster, wait for it to dry and then the next um, part of the drawing would then be transferred on and so on and so forth. So it was a very effective way of um, working and I'm just going to show you um, how I'm using it today in the studio and uh, hopefully it's going to be of use to you in some way. Stick around. So here we have the, um, the picture that uh, I'm going to be working on and creating a, a painting from. Now I'll probably do a step-by-step -step, uh, process for the painting and the process of um, actually getting that done as well. And so this will be a series of videos that will uh, show you a little bit about um, some of the processes that I use. I don't try to get um, caught up too much on process because I think art should be an organic process when it starts to become a step-by-step -step, um, same way every time. It gets very boring. This is one of the ways that I might... Um, transfer a drawing onto a, a larger um, canvas. Quite often I'll do it freehand as well if I feel um, like I want to work that way or um, I'm looking at abstracting slightly. It's a, probably an easier way of working. But uh, this is a picture of a rooster. I, I went to the, um, uh, the Royal Easter Show one year and I took a lot of photographs uh, of different animals. I thought it was a good subject matter for me to work from. And uh, so what I've done is I've taken the photographs and I've just printed them on my um, you know, inkjet printer at home and um, what's going to end up happening with those is uh, we're going to um, uh, first thing we did was we drew uh, two centimeter boxes uh, so a grid of two centimeter boxes so if you look closely here you can see those boxes and we transfer those boxes onto the photograph just using a pencil and a ruler so once you've done that and you've transferred your um, grid onto the uh, photograph you then turn around and you move to your larger um, canvas and in this case I'm working on some, um, some marine ply on a, on a substrate and uh, you then basically work um, box for box counting how many across and how many down and you reproduce uh, the drawing box by box so rather than trying to copy the entire thing uh, you're in a situation where you're just working on a very small box. It makes things very, very much easier to get things in proportion and to scale. And uh, now a little, uh, a little um, pointer on on the um, on working with uh, the proportions. Now, how do you know whether your um, uh, photograph is in the same proportions as your uh, larger canvas, um, in other words, length and width at the same ratio. Well, okay, so you want to know whether your uh, photograph is in proportion to your larger canvas. Now, the easiest way of doing this, I've found, is that you take whatever photograph you're enlarging, or image that you're enlarging, and you place it so that it's in the bottom right-hand um, corner, or left-hand corner, sorry, not right-hand corner, it could be any corner, basically, but you get it sitting down in a corner, and then you get yourself anything with a straight edge, a ruler, or in this case it's a level, but it can be a ruler. And you go from the top corner um, of the image that you're trying to enlarge, and you go into the bottom corner 
of the image that you're trying to enlarge. So from that corner there, the top right hand corner down to the bottom left hand corner, and then you see where it crosses on your actual canvas. Now, if it goes corner to corner on both the image that you're trying to enlarge and the canvas, um, you'll have it in the same proportion. As you can see here, we're actually um, a little bit short, uh, it's a little bit longer here. So that means that um, the proportions basically would be um, up to here. So if, if my larger canvas finished here, horizontally, across here, we would have a canvas that's the same proportions. But of course, this is a little bit longer um, than, or sorry, higher um, vertically than the um, original image proportion-wise. Now, that wasn't a problem for me. What I basically did was I transferred from the top down and it just means that my rooster, when I finish painting him, will have, instead of, um, he'll be, instead of stopping here at the bottom of that red comb, there'll be a little bit of body um, underneath the comb coming down. So I think it works better, it proportionally works better with the, um, the frame I have in mind for this finished image. So that's just a little tip to see um, an easy way of working out the proportions. So if you want to enlarge, just run the um, ruler from corner to corner of the image that you want to enlarge and anywhere along this line um, that's the straight edge, you'll have um, proportions. So anywhere along, where that'll be the corner, top corner, you come um, vertically down. So along that line is where the proportions lie. I hope that's uh, uh, clear enough. Um, if you don't understand, by all means, um, drop a question in the comments area. But uh, I found that a, a handy thing to know. Um, and we'll see you later when we start uh, this painting.